Say, please do not blow at me. Do not. Hey, y'all. So, we're getting ready to make some fish and grits. I'm starving. I'm, I'm, I'm very hungry. Um... Let me go, let me go brush this hair back, girl. Let me pull my hair back. Cause I don't I said fish and grits, not fish and grits and um and hair. Baby, listen. We about to put this bunnet on. That way I know for sure that um there we go. I know for sure that this hair is not gonna get in the way. Baby, it's giving. It's giving a little house on the prairie, but that's okay. So, I'm gonna prep this fish really quick. Yeah, so I bought my tilapia in these individually wrapped packages. So, we just gonna rinse that off. Y'all see me make fish and grits before, but girl, I'm starving. Oh, Lord. I should not have waited this long to eat. So, we're gonna do that and then I want to uh, style my other wig. And I don't know, I don't have anything planned for today. Um, I need to edit the other blog, the one that I filmed yesterday, guys. I don't know, I'm kinda, I'm kinda liking this little, this little daily blogging thing. It just, honestly, it's like easier to do, but like it's the days where, um, let me move this back because y'all, I'm looking down at the camera. It's just the days where, where I don't have anything to do. You know, I don't have something to do every single day. And so, you know, you're worried about, okay, is this vlog going to be boring? I didn't do anything. I didn't go anywhere. You know, and you don't want to make boring content. y'all i have been over here watching this um i've been over here watching this damn queen pen girl i am addicted it's um american gangster queen pen and it's on bet plus so i was like oh my god y'all i have literally been watching this probably for like five hours so i was like girl let me get up and get the turn this during camera on girl y'all i hope this vlog ain't gonna be boring because baby we not we we gonna be in the house so we're gonna be in the house on this one so anyway y'all i am steaming out this gorgeous blazer that i purchased yesterday at the thrift store let me turn it around this way i've already um sprayed the disinfectant spray on it and uh so I just want to steam it out. And I'm hoping that when these little water spots dry, that they don't dry, um, you know, that they don't leave watermarks on the actual blazer. So yeah, girl. And then y'all, I finished, I washed my wig and I flat ironed it and I curled it. And so I'm probably gonna put that on tonight. And I'm thinking about, I don't know, maybe I'll just take this. I'm thinking about, yeah, let me just take this little brush thing off because I don't really feel like it's, oh, I probably should have turned the thing. Oop, oop, okay. Cause I just don't feel like the brush is really doing anything, you know, it's just getting it away. Okay, there we go. Please help me, y'all. This show got a stronghold on me. <laughs> and it's actually called, I think I said Trap Queens earlier or something like that. It's called um, American Gangster Trap Queens on BET+. Plus. Girl, I keep, I keep telling myself to pick up the camera or whatever. But girl, 
I keep getting sucked into this show. But anyway, so y'all, I'm about to show y'all how I be cleaning my stove, girl. So y'all, let me let me show you. So I like to pour hot water on the stove. So I'll normally just pour hot water like this on the stove top, not too much. And then I just like to go over it with a towel. And I just like to, you know, just kind of go over it. And I do this because, guys, this is a glass top stove. And um, I just be wanting to make sure like all of the oil and anything that I've used to, um, you know, clean you, anything that I've cooked, I can get off of the stove. So I be making sure that it's not no oil or anything left behind. And what's you know what what's gonna do the job better than some super hot water so normally i will clean it with like uh bleach and stuff like that first but after i do all of that i just go over it with uh with hot water because i just been wanting stuff to be extra extra clean And then I'll probably just do this one more time. You know what I'm about to do, girl? I'm about to see if I go over it with the, you know, kind of just put a little bit of steam just for a little extra sanitation. All right, y'all. So we're just going over it with a little bit of steam. All right. Ooh, I think I like the steam, uh, cleaning it with steam a little better than hot water. Yes, girl. So let's make sure we get make sure we get the um the back as well so yeah girl so yeah i think the steamer works really really well all right y'all probably like uh rochelle you doing too much but I just be wanting to take care of my stuff guys you know but anyway y'all i don't think we're gonna put this wig on tonight i think we're gonna wait until the morning but let me just show you how i have it styled up on this wig head girl so i just um i washed the wig i put it on the patio and then i let it air dry for the most part i blow dried it just a little bit because it was all, all you know pretty much um dry and I just wanted to get that extra little dampness out of it. And girl, I just went over it with my curling iron and then just added the rods in. So it's going to be really, really pretty in the morning when we put it on, girl. One thing I need to tell y'all, if you guys are going to invest in that type of steamer for whatever reason, it leaves like a little, like a little weird smell. It's, it's like, um, I can't explain it. But it just kind of it smells industrial. I don't know, girl. That's the best way I can do it. So I'm about to spray some of this. Now, guys, this is a body spray, but I prefer to use it as a house spray. This is Snowfalls and Cashmere. And this is from Bed Bath. Uh, this is from Bath and Body Works. So this is what this is. But y'all, I use this as a house spray. And baby, let me tell you something. It be having a house smelling amazing and i like it because it actually lingers and it's just a great smell so yeah yeah that's gonna kill that whole little industrial smell that uh you know that the steamer creates girl I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just, I am so addicted to this damn show. I 
Okay, okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm gonna finish watching this. I'm gonna call y'all back. Hey, bum shells. And I'm saying it like that because, baby, somebody jumped in the comment section. Y'all, somebody had jumped in a bum in a uh, in a bum shell comment section, and they had told me that I needed to pronounce the B O the O in bum and not you. It's bum shells, not bum shells. But baby, because we from the south and we from that H, it's bum shells over here, baby. Bum shells with a U. Bum shells with a U. Okay, so she said, she had said it had it be driving her crazy when I be saying, hey, bum shells. So, um, hey, girl, I hope you don't go crazy. I hope you don't go crazy because it's the bum shells, baby, not the bomb shells. But anyway, y'all, we got to get up out of here. I'm sorry for not coming back last night, guys. I was really tired. I'm getting to the point where I actually need coffee or something to help me get motivated or to, you know, to have energy. And I don't like that. So we got to find a solution. Anyway, let me show y'all what the outfit is for today. Got on these cute little jeans. We got these jeans from, I think, the Goodwill for $4. We got on these cute little flip-flops. Y'all seen these a thousand times. We have on this really cute belt. I think this belt came from Value Village. It was a dollar. And we have on this super cute bodysuit. Guys, I purchased this bodysuit from Value Village. Um, I can't remember when I purchased it or how much it was, but it was it was kind of a recent purchase. Oh, and y'all, this is how the hair came out. Um, I don't know why. This hair, it's not really, it's not really good at keeping a curl, but it has some really big, juicy, bouncy curls when I took the rods out, but that's okay because we're gonna re, we're gonna recurl it later, guys. We're gonna go to a poetry thing tonight, so we're gonna do that. But that's not gonna be in this vlog. It's gonna be in the next one because I gotta break this content up, girl. Because I don't be doing, I don't be doing um, anything like on every single, you know, all all the time. So we gotta keep y'all interested. Okay, girl. So y'all, I had to hurry up and um, you know, get get the show on the roll because uh, you know, like I said, we're going to this poetry thing tonight, and then um, so we're doing that, and I really come on, boo, what is you doing? Go, girl. They in this fucking kidnap van in front of me. Shit. I don't know what they doing. Let me stay all the way back over here. Let me drive slow because I don't, I don't know what's going on in front of me. And I don't want no parts of it, baby. We are... Girl, I lost my train of thought because I'm just trying to figure out what these people doing. Anyway, okay. So, guys, we're getting ready to go to DSW because I saw these shoes that I want. They are gorgeous, y'all. I really got a... Uh, I got a thing for... um for Jennifer Lopez shoes. Hopefully the heel is not too high because you guys know I'm really not able to do anything over four inches and then that four inches is really contingent on how the heel is made. You know, so I can't, all four inch heels are not created equal, honey, because some of them are higher, some of them feel higher than others. So we're gonna go do that. And then I wanted to stop at Boston Market so I could just get something um, to eat for tonight. So we might do that. And then we gonna go back to the highs, baby. All right, let me let these cars, guys. I gotta figure out a coffee situation, baby. And this, this gas continuously going up for me. I'm not understanding, I'm confusion for real. Go my, get my, oh, uh, 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 what is you doing? Uh-uh, girl. Uh-uh, y'all. We got to hurry up and get back home. It must be a full moon because, baby, y'all, it's, it's literally 101 and people are already driving crazy. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, let's have this conversation about pretty privilege. Do you guys think that pretty privilege is real? And the reason why I'm asking that is because I believe, like, you can be pretty, but if you're not a nice person um then your pretty privilege won't work you understand what i'm saying and so you can try to like be all you know you can just if you're if you being difficult people are not gonna be like but well, she's pretty she's pretty i think people are gonna be like man i'm gonna help this bitch but i think that if you are pretty 
and you have a great personality and that type of thing, people may be a little bit more compelled to help you. Or, of course, when it comes to the men, honey, if you're more, if you're like distressed, like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm gonna do. If you're like, <laughs> if you're like that, you know what I'm saying, that type, and uh, you kind of, a, you're a damsel in distress, cause you know, we got some, we got the fellas out here who love saving women. But I'm not gonna say, I'm gonna say it's pretty privileged coupled up with personality privilege i'ma go i'ma go with that y'all weigh in and let me know which one uh do you is it do you think that you can be pretty and not be a nice person and still get things or do you think that you need to be or if if you are pretty if you're a pretty girl um and you have an awesome fun personality or just you know just a good overall good personality or fun personality do you think you could get a little bit further with that y'all weigh in and let me know all right y'all so we just made it in here but girl i do not see the shoes they said they said that they were at this particular location. So let me look around. And I didn't want to order them online because the heel, I keep reading that the heel is super, super high. And guys, I cannot, y'all know, I can't do those super, super high heels. So um, let me see. All right, y'all, they don't even have the shoe at this location now. I looked online before we got here and they said that it was here but whatever so we got to drive to another location which it's not that far but it's just kind of throwing me off a little bit because I wanted to be back home at a certain time but that's fine let me just head over there and um, and do that and then we'll probably I'm gonna stop it cuz see Boston Market is in oh Girl, where are my sunglasses at? Oh my God. Okay, oh, it's bright out here. Oh gosh, it's light. it's super bright out here. Okay. All right, so let me, um, let me pull up this Boston Market menu and see what my options are. And then I'ma call y'all right back. All right, y'all. So we got the food from Boston Market. I need to pull up the directions to this other location because I know it's probably like a faster way to get there. Hold on. Please do not. Uh, I was going to say, please do not blow at me. Do not. Do not. Because we both, we was both stuck behind this, this truck now. I mean, this Metro bus now. Girl, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. I forgot y'all was in the car with me. I forgot y'all was in the car with me, girl. I'm just saying, like, because I just know, y'all, I can just tell. In Houston, I can just tell. Girl, come on now. This thing is tripping. Hold on. I can just tell when somebody finna, finna blow the horn. Let me pay attention. Because, baby, we, we infamous. Nah, I didn't already did a video. I need to do a whole video on drive etiquette in Houston. Driving etiquette in Houston. Because see, the first the first rule is you can talk as much shit as you want to, but make sure the people don't see you. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, when I be talking my shit, I be making sure that, that them people don't see me. Cause I don't want cause baby, people likes to <laughs> baby they I told y'all they like to use that heat in the H, baby. And I I don't, I don't have time for it. And another thing is like it, I will kind of just blow my horn, but I don't do the aggressive like lean it, the lean with it, rock with it. You know what I'm saying? When you just lean heavy on the horn, I don't do that. I kind of do like a bump bump, and then I do a light up bump. You know, just to kind of let you know, you know, get your shit together. You know, to let you know to get your shit together. But I don't be trying to do like the aggressive. I got a gun in my car. You know what I'm saying? I got a pistol in the car type of blow. I don't do that because I just, cause baby, they, they be not only in Houston, will they, um, this thing is making me mad. Golly. Okay. There we go. Now 
Okay, okay. See, I knew it was an easier way to get here. Fuck. I didn't went too far. Okay, I'm just gonna go this way. They telling me to make a U-turn. So anyway, y'all. So yeah, girl. I just kind of like lightly uh, like that. But uh-uh, girl. Because people be, they be wanting to fight. And even if they don't have no heat in their car, they, people get out, they can't talk shit to you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, uh-uh, I don't have time for that at all. So I be trying to treat it real lightly. But I do talk my shit. I do. I do talk shit. But I just make sure you don't see me when I'm talking <laughs> <laughs> when I'm talking my shit but anyway y'all so another thing I was thinking about when I got in the car I think I'm gonna um I think I'm gonna put together like a wig survival kit and a wig survival kit is like just keep it like some um you know like some little products and stuff in the car so if i would wig be looking kind of yeah you know be looking kind of funny or looking like okay my lace is being weird we can just fix our lace and stuff in the car without you know what i'm saying like feeling like i need to go back to the house because i kind of noticed my lace is looking a little bit you know uh, it's looking a little bit mm, not so good but that's okay hold on okay see it turn in 200 feet turn left i mean turn right okay okay so yeah so we're gonna get us a wig survival kit and i think what i'm gonna put in our wig survival kit i'm gonna put um some ebon lace glue i'm gonna put us a um a wax stick and then I'm going to probably put like a little bronzer, not a bronzer, but like a little powder and a brush, you know, like, you know, the, not the, is this how you do? I'm sorry, y'all. Girl, y'all, y'all know I don't know my way around Houston, but anyway, so I'm going to put that in the car and put us like a little bit of powder, you know, like a darker powder. So you know when the lace is looking kind of mm, and then like a super thin little red tail comb i'm gonna put that in here yeah because now that i'm in the sun i just noticed like some little stuff i just noticed some little stuff that um you know that i don't particularly like you know but that's okay but anyway girl so y'all i really hope these shoes is pretty i do because i just got this perfect outfit i want to wear and when we get back to the house guys i bought a whole bunch of like uh swimsuit tops from asos that was dirt cheap but we're gonna wear those as like actual shirts and we you know we can pair them with blazers and stuff so i'm gonna try those on when we get back to the house all right y'all these are the shoes but girl they are way too high this heel is ridiculous all right girls so we're gonna get this one y'all this shoe is so freaking cute and so comfortable girl i love it such a cute comfortable shoe and we got a lot of stuff to wear with it too hey y'all okay we back at the house i'm gonna make this quick because I got to stop this vlog so we can start another one. Because, girl, I got to get ready. So, I wanted to show y'all these super cute bras. Um, but Well, these are bikini tops that I purchased from ASOS. So, and I'm sorry, guys. I don't have a camera set up like I normally do. But we just going to have to do it like this this time. So, this is the first one. Guys, this is so cute. So, what I was thinking, because it's still hot in Houston, I could wear this with a really pair of really cute high-waist slacks wide leg a nice bag a pair of uh really cute stiletto heels um something it like really sophisticated so because the top is like this i would uh prefer that the pants or whatever the jeans are you know a little bit wide leg just to kind of add some chicness to it guys you can also put a blazer on top of this here it is with a blazer i really like it i think it's really cute now it kind of does look like a bra but you do not have to worry about that because 
this look is for somebody who, you know, you're not going to have to convince people who don't understand fashion. If they think it's a bra, girl, let them think it's a bra. It don't matter. But I do like this together. I can definitely see this paired with a really nice pair of, now I would do a pair of white leather jeans or white leather slacks. In fact, I need to place an order with, um, with she in so we can get us some white leather jeans but i would rock this with some uh, white leather jeans a really nice bag and a pair of gorgeous heels so this is the next one again another bikini top i love this one because it has like the layer details on the front again guys we purchased these to pair them with blazers and wide leg slacks so even though this is a little bit sexy we can still keep that sexy look but you know, kind of add a little bit, you know, a little bit of conservativeness or a little bit of chicness to it. So I'm gonna throw on this gorgeous blazer so you guys will see how this looks when you pair it with a blazer. All right, so this is the look with the blazer. Guys, I will style this with a really cute leather skirt or a pair of really nice leather pants or even a pair of just nice black high waist slacks. And to be honest with you, I would do accessories like my shoes and my bag. I would make sure that they had gold hardware on it because I love black, gold, and white together. So yeah, that's how I would style this look. Also, this next look is super cute. I think I purchased, by the way, guys, all of these bras were under, I think, $5. Because um, I did get them, I think, at the ASO sale with an additional 25% off. But yeah, this one is really, really cute. I love this so much and yes i will still wear this in uh the the fall season because we would just throw on our jacket girl all right so this look could still work it still has that sexiness to it you can see a little bit of my skin right here and guys we could still pair this with a really nice pair of black slacks um or black leather pants or skirt and again i would do some really cute heels but yeah i do like the yellow black and white together all right y'all so this is the last one guys i love this bra and actually that's why i went to dsw to see if i could fit those j-lo heels because i was gonna rock that those uh, metallic uh, metallic snake skin heels um with this with a pair of really really cute nice cream slacks and then I was going to find a, a like a really nice blazer. So anyway, um, the shoes didn't work out, but that's okay. So yes, girl, I love this. This is my favorite one, guys. So the ones that we tried on, this is my favorite one. And again, this was under $5. Y'all know what I was just thinking about? I could actually also pair this. I could buy like a really beautiful, like satin uh two piece and style this with that as well but you girl you know we gonna figure it out i'm going to end today's vlog here so we can get ready for tomorrow's vlog so um let me know if you guys liked how we styled those really cute bras oh you know what i forgot y'all i i think i showed y'all these but guys we ended up getting these j-lo heels right here baby we got these and we ordered another pair but they're gonna be shipped to the house so anyway Guys, let me know um, your favorite look of the bras. And let me know if you like my little J-Lo heels or whatever. But um, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Look, girl, y'all, I'm talking about, <laughs> I'm going to see y'all in the next one. But all we about to do is cut the camera off. I'm about to take me a shower and then um, kind of do my makeup real quick. You know, add my lashes and stuff. And girl, just, I'm about to cut the camera back on anyway. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I'm going to see you in the next one.